We're doing a brief video on the Q-Clear laser for the treatment of plantar warts. This is the third treatment we've done on these. They're much, much smaller. Nice thing about this is that in the majority of cases, no anesthesia is needed. Unlike if we were doing this by cutting them out. Now first we did debride or shave down the dead skin that builds up over these and it was actually much much less this time than it was the first time that we did it. You have to wear glasses to do this which uh, does make it a little more difficult to see Feeling okay? You felt anything yet? Okay, good. Sometimes when I keep it on one spot for several shots, so when you hear that clicking, that's it's doing the shots, as we call it. The red light is not the laser. That's just a beam that we can really see where we are. So the, the laser itself is not really visible with the naked eye. We have other types of lasers we use for different things. This one particular laser is used more for cosmetic things, such as fungus nails, which is what we use it for pretty much every day. But also it can be used to remove tattoos, for hair removal, and some other things that we typically don't do on the foot. So I try to give about 100 shots. We actually went a little more last time because there was more there. We did about 160. Again, a couple of these I'm probably overdoing, but I just want to make sure we get rid of them as quickly as we can. The patient had these about, what, six months, I think, before you came to see us, and had tried some other means of treating them, which didn't really work very well. But there are many ways to treat warts. Plantar warts, because they're on the bottom of the foot, are a little more resistant, sometimes a lot more resistant. And I'd say we're about 80% of the way through these. Just going to kind of keep an idea about how many shots we're doing on each. And typically we'll do this about every two weeks until they're gone. This time we went three weeks and that did not negatively affect it. Sometimes if you go three weeks or four weeks or longer, it's like you're starting all over again, brand new. But hers improved so much on that last treatment that I think we can go at least three weeks again. I think we're about 90%. I just want to make sure we didn't miss any. One spot there where there's a little bit. Some warts bleed when you trim them. These really are not ones that bleed very much, which makes it better in some ways, but a little more difficult sometimes to see. So we're looking for these little islands of abnormal skin. Let me just treat these last two again. I think we're good. So usually we'll put a little antibiotic cream on these, which is really a burn cream. Hers are now so small that, well, they're nothing like they were to start with, and she's not really felt any discomfort afterwards. Because they are so small, we're still treating them pretty aggressively with this. But uh, I'm expecting next time, while they may not be 100%, I think we're going to be down to just some very, very small spots. And in a case like this, it's also good to combine treatments. 
So she at home is using something called 5 fluorouracil We didn't do that in the beginning. She just really started that recently. But uh, this is how we treat plantar warts, one of the many ways. This is Dr. Richard Eby with Eby Foot Care. Any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you.